Big news coming in from Italy tonight. The Italian Senate in the last few hours has voted to expel former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi from Parliament over his conviction for tax fraud. The larger-than-life billionaires led the country for most of the past two decades. Artis Zigopuskanov has the latest, in fact, from Rome. Uh, in, in the best uh, Italian way, it wasn't without uh, emotion, was it, what uh, went on in the uh, Italian Parliament the last couple of hours, of course? Well, it was quite an emotional vote at the Senate and the comments that we've been getting from Mr. Berlusconi and his supporters are frankly just as emotional. They've deemed his political rivals as the firing squad. They've been saying that this is a day of mourning for Italian democracy and that this was a political assassination. But Mr. Berlusconi himself uh, is saying that he's not planning to back down, he's not planning to go underground and wants to stay with his supporters. Now, his rivals, on the other hand, are celebrating, comparing the former prime minister with Al Capone, the uh, uh, the uh, Chicago uh, gangster who for years managed to avoid prosecution but then was finally jailed for tax evasion and uh, well they're also reminding that since Mr. Berlusconi was convicted of tax fraud uh, uh, under Italian law he's banned from politics for the next six years. Now all of this is happening amid some serious problems with the, econo uh, the Italian economy. The current government hasn't really been very successful in dealing with them. They've barely managed to push through the 2014 budget which is is in the focus of lots of criticism. The economy is going through the worst recession since the Second World War. Youth unemployment is uh, very high right now and some analysts are suggesting that this whole uh, scandal around Mr. Berlusconi and including this vote in the Senate are aimed to, to divert attention from the public from uh, the way the current government has been dealing with uh, economic problems. Yeah, they've called it the long goodbye. This may uh, finally be it, but it's still maybe all to play for, as you're saying. Okay, Igor Piskanov, thanks ever so much there in Rome.